Hello, hello everybody! We are going to be continuing our Pokémon Platinum playthrough. Last time we got the second badge from Gardenia, and now we're going to go and raid Team Galactic's big old gentrification tower, I guess. On February the 17th, Saturday, started from Orberg City, dug for treasure underground, Super Potion was obtained. <laughs> that must have been just an exciting moment for us. Sold a lot at the Pokemart, sure. Beat Eterna's gym, Gardenia. Defeated a female Cascoon, <laughs> random, okay, sure. Beat Angela at Eterna City. I think those orders of events are wrong. <laughs> but hello, everybody. Last time, yeah, we, well, we already went over everything we did last time, and we're gonna be invading Galactic. I also, I have attained a new Pokemon that I want, well, I worded that badly. I have gained a want for a new Pokemon that exists in this game. One that I did not really go after in Emerald, but one that I want to get here. So, the moment that I can get, like, Surf, we are going to go and try and get a Feebas. I know that that is going to be hell. There's gonna be an entire stream dedicated to it, probably. I want a Melodic, damn it! <laughs> I moved back to Eterna. I'm finishing the Pokedex for the area. I've never been one to, like, try and finish a Pokedex myself. Unless it was Legends Arceus. Legends Arceus was dope. But, without further ado... I just realized I gave Zoro Cut. I didn't mean that. <laughs> but... Yeah, we're going to... Try and invade. But first things first, we're gonna adventure this way, because we can. And then we're gonna try and power level... Charm and Zoro. Convenient that Thief is right next to Team Galactic's hideout. I, I'm probably never going to use it, but I... <laughs> but you already have a print plot, but I want a Melodic. <laughs> it's no longer about, like, functionality. I, I go by vibes. That's basically it. Hello, it's me! <laughs> no, you're not look... Oh, wait. Are you actually Looker? Are you actually a master disguiser? Hello, it is me. Me! Ha 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 I've startled you, yes. I am, after all, an officer of the international police. The sad thing is, Looker could just be that bad of an international police officer that this random grunt is like, I'm just gonna go along with it. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend to be him for the giggles. It is only natural that I am a master of disguise. And you just took it off right in front of their big-eared receptionist. Congratulations. 100 illusion. <laughs> That's hilarious. Incidentally, you are a first-rate trainer. Of that, I am very aware. I therefore think you will be okay, but I must warn you to be careful anyway. Also, a word of advice. This building, it has two stairs. One of them, it is a trap. A must-be. But the crooks of Team Galactic, they do not appear, how shall I say, smart? There should be an easy way to tell the upstairs apart. Well, you're a magical little man, aren't you? Also, this full-grown adult just told a child, Hey, I, I, I'm not gonna do anything, you go do stuff. As a group, Team Galactic has its sights set on the stars, not on this world. Whatever you say, receptionist. Sinnoh Now! This is it, the one you've all been waiting for! It's time for Sinnoh Now, your portal to what's hip and happening in Sinnoh. They said Sinnoh like five times there. Here's the first story on the cutting edge of Sinnoh trends. This is Helena bringing you the on-the-spot weather. A steady downpour continues to fall on Route 212. This is your chance to shout your loved one's name to the skies. Forget about an umbrella, think of all the dramatic possibilities. That's the weather brought to you by Helena. Well, apparently these guys don't want to fight. You'd think that they w would be like, how dare anybody come in here? Welcome to Team Galactic. Are you here to donate your Pokemon? What, you're not? Then kindly get off our property. Do you have to bring the pain like we did with the cycle shop out manager? Basically just saying. <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> one is guarded, one is not. I, I'm tempted 
The path you choose leads to glory. I kind of want to know what the what the trap is. I'm 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 intrigued. Wait. Uh okay, I guess we'll go that one and get the <laughs> They said it was a trap. I guess they just mean ambush. Tim Galactic is working hard to find new energy sources for the future. Whatever you say. <laughs> That's what I'm asking. Like, what is the trap? They're like, oh, they're not very smart. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. I guess since this is a double battle, presumably. Uh, will you double fight me? Good. We are acquiring Pokemon for a most astonishing undertaking. Your meddling won't be tolerated. So sorry, sweetie. Team Galactic has no room for kitties. Well, at least we know they're not pedophiles. There's at least that. Galactic grunt and galactic grunt. And I guess I'll swap in Amp and Larry to put the smackdown on these dudes. <laughs> Professionals have standards. Exactly. Now I'm imagining, like, the Team Fortress 2 mercs as, like, a Pokemon, like, villain team. But they're, like, just bumbling fools. The wing attack did more damage than the Astonish. Lol. You finally found an Onyx. I ran into, like, one Onyx in, like, the... Oraburg uh, Mines. <laughs> I'm always surprised when I run into an Onyx, because it's just like it's big, but it's weak. Here is the Eiffel Tower. If you poke it, it dies. I do like the, the grunt battle music. Well, I guess let's focus on the Glam Meow, because it's a higher level and we want it to die. Get confused, kitty cat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Of course you survive with singular digit health. This is gonna crit, isn't it, knowing my luck? It's always situations like... Ah! I knew it! I am a god! I called it! I called it! My, I only get crits when it doesn't help! Always! And ever! The moment that I saw the pixel health, I, okay, <laughs> a second critical hit to be like, oh, fine, you called me out of my bullshit. I'll do it normally. Ugh. I feel like I got meddled with. B but, dearie, you're just a kid. Oh, they do have standards. I was blasting my Pokemon playlist in the car whilst waiting for family to return. Pokemon music do be a bop. Okay, this guy was slow on the take-up, I guess. Our objectives are incredible. Too incredible for me to understand. I'll fight blindly to defend them, and your intrusion won't be forgiven. Yeah, that basically sums up cults, isn't it? Eh. Hmm, level 19, eh? Wait, I'm just... I'm still just not over the fact that I can call when I get crits now. And that the first time I called it coming, it happened. Is Taunt... Like, what is Taunt? Taunt is just... Is, isn't that like a double battle move? Like you, Or is it like you can only use fight move? That's what I assume, at least. Good job, Charm. 
What was I fighting for again? Nothing. I got an X speed. No, it says that you can only fight. That's what I figured. I figured that it was either a double battle move where it's like, oh, you have to target this Pokemon, or it was like no status or buffs or anything, just fight. One of those. <laughs> I ask the question, I get three answers. I have the most powerful and knowledgeable chat in the world. I will never be a fool again! I always go back to just randomly heal my Pokemon because I just like to have options. And plus, I, just, I don't know why. It's just like, I have to top them off. I have to top them off. It's like if I actually had Pokemon for real, I'd just go, I can't. They, 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 they've hurt. My darling children soldiers. But uh, one of the reasons why Taunt kind of confused me for a moment is because I've been playing some Honkai Star Rail, and they kind of have a Taunt move, but it's purely a you will fight me and no one else thing. So I'm just like, wait a minute, it's one or the other. I wonder why some of them are fighters and some of them are not. <laughs> Let's throw Zoro. Maybe it's just that I want to level them both up. I'll need to maybe do some grinding to try and bring them up. Again, I guess this is technically the real one. Let us make progress together. I still don't know why they had a double battle in front of the fake stairs, though. Let's see how good this Pokemon is. I stole it from some weak trainer. Well, then you already know the answer. <laughs> oh, the non-fighters are weak. My brain is trying to process that. I think I'm confused now. I'm sure it's related to something I said, but I'm a fool. Go on out, Amp. We'll try and level you up alongside Zoro. Well, ain't you a jerk. Hm. I just realized. Well, I just realized, but like... For some reason, my mind immediately jumped to, wait a minute, doesn't uh, Godomon slash Tailmon from Digimon have a cat's eye like hypnosis move? Honestly, if uh, if I had Pokemon, I would have used my Space Dragon <laughs> to batter the enemy. <laughs> Face my godly power, fool. They know that you, you, they are, you are stronger than them. They aren't sacrificing their money. Ah. Well, at least you're kind of intelligent. <laughs> this one's like, I'm gonna hypnosis you to death. I'll just, I'll keep going. Funnily enough, this is kind of an equal battle, all things considered. And there's the faint attack. Where it is an attack where that apparently they want to make you faint with. Do Pokemon with insomnia sleep outside of battle? Maybe. If only I had sleep talk. You're gonna hypnosis me again, aren't you? Oh, you didn't! You did something different! Electrocute that cat again. I almost, I almost went with the crass version of that. For some reason. My brain's just like, yeah, let's just think better of that. I swear if I get a crit on this as well. This is prime time to get a crit. But nope, it did not. Even this game is too intelligent to let that happen multiple times in a row. What is this? You just said that you fought a weak trainer to get that Pokemon. Wimpy little Pokemon. When I get promoted, I'll demand better stolen Pokemon. And then we'll swap Charm back in. And we'll probably use Larry for this fight. Never mind, you're not gonna fight. <laughs> we are conducting research on new forms of energy. We want to harness the mysterious powers of Pokemon and use it as energy. I wonder what's going on in this one. Oh, I can't even read it. Yeah, I'm just gonna assume this is the fake one. Hello, I'm here to fight you. And there's a Pokeball back there. 
Why, thank you. We love it when people come to us to donate their Pokemon. Yeah, it's like, you could... These guys would have a better time with the... the three. Okay. Would have a better time of things if they literally did just catch their own Pokemon. I'm gonna try and fight him with Charm. My accuracy may have fallen, but my defense is up! Let's see if... Because this one's only two levels higher. So let's try. That'll make things harder. Ah, of course. Hmm, an accuracy move. And a poison move. You're here to lame me out, aren't you? The path isn't really blocked, it's more of just, this is the fake stairway, for some reason. Well, fine then, if the game's gonna be that big of a jerk. Well, he did use a accuracy move on you. And he's still being a massive jerk. I'm gonna spit it in his eye. I'm gonna throw dirt in his eye, make him cry. I'll misgender him too. I keep forgetting sometimes that Pokemon have genders in these games. What do you mean? Oh, hmm. I probably should have seen that coming. Should I have? Oh, you're probably a dark type too. I am bad when it comes to typing. And now two of my Pokemon are poisoned. Alrighty then. Instead, Lancelot, it's been a while. I keep forgetting typings on some Pokemon. Get bubble beamed, bitch. Typings, my brain is a soup. Sometimes I get a good. Sometimes I'm like completely forget. It also doesn't help that like dark type is kind of anomalous and sometimes you just don't really know which one has what. We'll swap charm out again. And then we'll swap her <laughs> swap back to somebody else. Maybe throw out Larry. He's poisoned, but. He should be able to annihilate this guy, at the very least. Hop would be disappointed that you didn't know about type advantages. It's like, a lot of type advantages I do know, then other ones, my brain just like, has trouble learning, like, oh, psychic types don't do good damage against steel. And uh, that's why I always constantly make the joke of, oh, so it's just like tinfoil. Ah, uh, with our steel tinfoil, we're gonna keep all the psychics out of our brains. Even though, technically, this world's psychic power should be able to just toss the metal around. But yeah, when it comes to, like, individual Pokémon, I forget their typings sometimes. Like, Stunky did not know that he was part Dark-type. I thought that he might have been just, like, a pure Poison-type. Ah, but that's on me. Hmm. And I'll throw out Nova since I don't want to waste time maybe get it, having Amp get blasted. How dare you slap my bird. Prepare to die. Of course. Crit, I dare you. Keep the gag going. <laughs> ah! I d I know that I call it, but I didn't actually expect it to do it. What do you think you're doing? Becoming a psychic, I guess. Ah. I'll get the item. We'll teleport back. Yeah, because... Oh, I can't use that here. Ah, uh, does that mean I can't use it as an escape rope? Why not? <laughs> Do they have psychic blockers in this building? Is it surrounded by steel types? Well, you see, this building is made out of onyx. Or no, not onyx, steelix. Oh, 
and we definitely need to go <laughs> heal these people. Good job, Charm! That's the second time that a Pokemon has outright survived the poisoning. Or is it just like Pokemon can't faint to poison in this game? Is that it? It's one or the other. Well, either way, as the world continues to curse me and my, my luck, remember to stay hydrated and drink vine tea. They can faint. Charm just decided to be a spiteful bitch and be like, I'm not going to fall down to some poison. Charm is a badass. And that is why we need to actually level her up so she can actually do some fighting of her own. But I do find it funny. Hmm. I actually realized this time you are the fighter. And the thing telling us that this is a place to go is the plaque. Which is like, we'll progress together. <laughs> well, I just have to see this. Who are you? What are you doing here? Weird music. Our mission is to implement our operations without question. It is all for the new world order that our boss will lead! <laughs> okay. Not Traven! Yeah, you're probably going to annihilate me, so, um... Hey, Lancelot, come kill this wizard! <laughs> Well, sure, you do that. Die now. Get bubble beamed, you mustachioed man. I just remembered that Kadabra's Pokedex entry says that a child became a Kadabra. What the fuck? Why'd that do so much damage? Is that just because he had, like, low special? I'm going to assume it's because Lancelot has, like, bad special defense... Or that Kadabra has good special attack, because Jesus. Alright, I guess we're gonna faint to this guy, who's just a random god. Oh, the X special attack, that's true. I never put much stock in that. Usually when they, they use it, I'm just like, yeah, who cares? Actually, mildly terrifying. This won't go unpunished. Your steroid use will. I'll go immediately back to the diddly D, so I have more options. Maybe I should actually use those X items more in tough fights. The problem with me, my brain is just like, hey, you could just do damage. But then again, if the X attack raised his attack that much for an equal level, like, one-on-one, -on -one, then maybe they raised the stats really, really good. I've never actually used one, I don't think, ever, in the entirety of my time playing Pokemon. Mostly from a one side, it's like, oh, it's a special item that I found. I can't just use it willy-nilly. And then other uh, part, like... Just attack, why... <laughs> why waste turn not attacking when you could do attack? Because usually the only time where it's good to, like... Do multiple things is if you know they're gonna miss. So that you know you have more time. Or if it's, like, really low level. I just find it amusing that the... Normal-looking scientist man is like, I'm going to give my Pokemon drugs. Wait, that's the wrong way. I'm a fool. As always, we are going to go down the fake path for giggles. Not as much giggles as I thought it was. I thought there was going to be a fight here. 
and a revive! <laughs> Scientific drugs. Alright, so... <laughs> it almost looks like the bike manager, I assume that's who that is, is threatening their boss. Ordinary people like you can't understand Team Galactic's grand designs. Come to think of it, I don't even know what's going on. Question not and follow this path, the road to success. It's Jupiter. We're gonna be fighting a planetoid. Working for world peace. I don't believe you. I don't really need to save. What is it with this Team Galactic? What, why did they take our Pokemon? What are they trying to accomplish? I think that, that Buneary is depressed. Isn't this the item that literally upgrades like Porygon? Alright, let's see. Well, I guess I'll throw Charm out to continue her training and then swap to somebody. Why is it so dark in this room? Space, I guess. Uh, did you want something? How silly of me to even ask. You want to free the Pokemon. Fine, I, Jupiter, will deal with you. Okay. Did, why do you just have your thighs out? And only one thigh at that. Part of me is fearful, because your first Pokemon is a level 21 Zubat. That did a lot of damage for some reason. Get blasted, idiot. And you're gonna be sending out a skunk tank. So definitely don't use Larry for it. I don't know who else to use. Maybe Nova? We'll have to go. We'll have to see. Wait a minute. Didn't I hear about, like, a skunk tank being, like, a giant bastard to fight in one of these games? One thing I question is, what happens if you stomp a Pokeball with a Pokemon in it? More than likely, just, like, a, a poor reaction of, like, it opening... It breaks, but gets released maybe violently. Hmm. Oh damn it! You go first. And you and you get a crit. Why don't I get those crits, game? How come I don't get those crits? I forget what's good against. Like poison beyond psychic. How insolent. Take a bite of this child. Is your are you ordering your skunk tank to bite me? Yeah, lower your speed as you throw out another Night Slash. I think I'll be able to survive another attack. Psychic and Ground are super effective. Ah, oh, you're gonna eat something because you're a bitch. If I survive... Nope. Darn you. Yeah, Larry's gonna be like, no help here. I guess uh, you wouldn't be able to go that fast anyway. Zoro will be our last minute throw out and pray to use the revive and heal. Ah, potential paralysis. And you got paralyzed, you idiot.
And apparently Amp was the god to fight you anyway. Get blasted, skunk tank! You aren't nearly as awesome as the skunk tank from Explorers of Sky. Let's see, is Quick Attack better than Pound? Pound is 40 and 100. Quick Attack is 40 and 100 and goes first. Hmm. What's Foresight anyway? Enables the user to hit Ghost type with any type of move. And also enables the user to hit an evasive foe. So, oh, I could have used that maybe, but then you probably would have just taken more damage against that evasive skunky. So I guess get rid of the Pound, because it's basically the same, just five less power points. Again, I always expect it to be, like, weaker. Losing to some child, being careless costs me too much. Exactly. With your poor wardrobe. Well, aren't you tough? It's okay, though. Our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. Mars has collected energy from the Valley Windworks. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little secret. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. With the power of mythical Pokemon, he will become the ruler of Sinnoh. I suggest you keep out of Team Galactic's affairs from now on. This is your last warning. I got my Clefairy back, and it's all thanks to you. By that Team Galactic, they said Clefairy came from space handed over. Their logic baffles me still. It's like they are from space. Anyway, they're gone now. Thank you very much. I can't thank you enough right now, but cruise by my cycle shop, okay? He didn't even mention his Bunary. That Bunary deserves a better owner. And now, we gotta go heal our Pokemans. And then go buy the cruisy, cruisy, cruisy cycle cruise missile shop. <laughs> Even Looker left. <laughs> no dictatorship galactic. Go back to the moon where you belong. <laughs> it isn't a law punny, so it doesn't like him. Ah, uh, this is your lop, your bunnery. I got my Pokemon back. I'm so happy. I feel like riding my bike down cycling road together with it. <laughs> Heal my Pokemon. They got beaten up by an, an ugly, ugly bitch. Ba -ba -bum. Now we shall quickly take a gander at our map to try and see where we're going to go after we go to the cycle shop. Town map. Because we could try to go to Celestic Town, or I guess maybe ride down to Orberg? Hmm. Because I think the next one. Ooh! Maybe see if we can find a route there? We'll try that, and then if that doesn't work, we'll go to uh, Celestic. Because I think that's next on the Diddly D. So, the Bunary belongs to the man of the Pokemon Center, so it seems. <laughs> it seems the Cycle Man knew where that Bunary belonged. Oh, hey, Cynthia. Please do not murder me just yet. Oh, there you are. I was looking for you. I've got something nice. I wanted you to have this Pokemon egg. Will you accept it? Sure. You'll have to store a Pokemon in the PC box in the Pokemon Center first. I'll give you this egg when you've made the room for it. I'll be waiting right here, and I'll go do that right now. Now the question is, who do I sacrifice? Because I don't even know what's in that egg. Because I know... It's not Riyalu, is it? Mm. I guess we'll put, uh, put Larry away for now. Uh, just a Togepi egg? That's kind of lame. Celestic is late game. Hmm. Well, you accept this Pokemon egg? Sure. That's wonderful. The Pokemon inside the egg is happy too, I'm sure of it. 
Keep the egg with you if you're party if, of Pokemon, and a Pokemon will hatch from it while you're traveling. I would be happy to know that it will blah, know that it will help fill another page of your Pokedex. See you again. <laughs> Rayalu is Iron Island. I think I figured that, but I forget. It's just that I didn't expect to get a, an egg from Cynthia. What was Team Galactic trying to do with other people's Pokemon? The porn industry. Thanks for rescuing me. This is something to show my thanks. It's the latest model bicycle. You must take it, I insist. How do we even carry this thing? <laughs> Please, not that damn piano of doom. Indeed. It's the latest model, so I'll read the operating manual to you. Press the B button to shift up or down. In third gear, you can't go all that fast, but it's easier to control. In fourth gear, it gets harder to steer and stop, but it's fast, really. And now? I guess they learned from uh, Pokemon Emeralds, people just want one bike. I'd like to register. <laughs> the Togepi naturally knows piano. Interesting music. Well, I might as well see what kind of Pokemon exist here. Why is there a Bibbidi Bop? Oh, you're a kid. So bad! Doesn't that sound like a ninja bursting from cover? No, it isn't. I'm now going to throw you down this cliff for giggles. Hey, Charm! You can kill this bitch. Quick attack! Seeing a, actually, seeing, seeing a Togepi play a piano would be adorable. No way it would actually be able to reach all the necessary keys and stuff, but hey. Adorable. I know, we'll swap Zoro in. Because I don't think this is a good matchup for Zoro, I think. That bully and orphan. What are they gonna do? Tell their parents? Kind of reminds me of the Dragon Ball Z abridged joke. It's like, you can't kidnap an orphan. They won't want it anyway. And now we're going to kill you. Don't you dare confuse the, the, the beloved bunny child. Kill him. Even when confused, Charm decides it's time for you to die. He's gonna send out another Zuban. Bum 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 ba dum bum bum bum. Well, I mean, we can at least try to see how this goes. Yeah, that's what I figured. So we're not going to bother with that and just send Charm out again. At least it isn't six Magikarp. Even six Magikarp would be more wanted than the orphans. Have you ever seen a Magikarp Orphan Edge? Exactly. Kill him. Kill the Zubat for all its indiscretions. Charm, you did that twice in a row. Well, fine then. We are going to punish your existence. Amp, come out here and kill this child's pet. Not only will he be an orphan, he will also be friendless. God, imagine if the Pokemon world, all of the Pokemon fights were to the death. That would just be stereotypical grimdark bullshit. But like, still. And 
then we split the experience three ways. Oh, my Zubat Tri-Stars! <laughs> Nuzlocke moment, basically. So the manga. Granted that our box survived. So there is at least that. We're not going to be using you, Charm. We'll do just a little bit of grinding for Zoro and Charm to try and bring them up. Let's see, how good is his absorb against this beneath? Not all that good, actually. What the hell? Has Absorb somehow a, a physical attack? How about Mega Drain? Or is, or is just Absorb that bad? <laughs> it had super healing. It doesn't count. The Magmar, though. They died. Mega Drain again, I guess. The contact poison will save us. Of course you have rollout, you bitch. Another mega drain. Please die. Now we go back to the Pokemon Cinna. On to the bicycle. And then we get there now. The, uh, just a flash. But not the TM. Heal my Pokemon. I'm, I'm fighting all the monsters. Giovanni is a murderer. I could see that. He is a gangster. He is an evil, evil little man. Like, nothing even happens to him in the anime, I think. We'll probably move along, see if there's anything that way. A Medite. Huh. I don't know why, I just I didn't expect to see you. Hmm. Because I kind of like your, like, Medicham. But... I don't really have much use for you on my team. And if worse comes to worse, I can always come and grab another one. Grab a Metadite. If I ever so desire. Another one. I guess they all decided to come out and play now. Oh no, not detect. Whatever does that though? Oh. Okay. Kind of annoying that that detect went off before my quick attack. I feel like quick attack would precisely be the kind of thing to hit before that does. It just, it just feels like that. There is a major plot point of Giovanni in black and white. Huh. Interesting. I will say, be ever so slightly careful of spoilers. Well, that one isn't too, too bad. Like, I have no idea what Giovanni would even do. Does he just get name-dropped? Or does he just show up and be like, I'm Giovanni, hey, give me my spaghetti. I am from the Silly Spaghetti Club. Ah, Chingling. Not sure if I care for having a Chimico, though. Oh, specifically the anime, not the games. Huh. That makes it actually doubly interesting because Giovanni in the anime, like, has some stuff going on. Like, he's slightly more of a character in a way. So, huh. I wonder what, I wonder what he'd do there. It could be anything. 
He's like, I want to take over Pokemon New York. Jesse James, go do things there. I am now holding my collector's edition Pokemon Adventures manga. Interesting. I don't think I've ever read any of the Pokemon manga. Maybe I should. Someday. Out in the field. Get bubbled, idiot. You're gonna die in a bubble bath. With the power of hidden power, he will show his power. Get bubble beamed, idiot. Maybe if we run into an enemy that you can actually kill, we'll let you fight Zoro. A Bronzor! Ha! Huh. Like, if you survive a bubble beam, I'll give you a chance. Like, I probably won't have you on my team, but I will, like, have you in my PC. Huh, for some reason I thought that'd be do a bit more. Well, I guess pound, and then your steel type typing will be like, ah, it takes no damage. At least this means I can lower you to catch you, I guess. What does imprison even do? Oh no, he infected me with aliens. Well, I guess I'll, I'll throw a Pokeball at you. Uh, get balled, idiot. guy that becomes the the bell, right? There are researchers who believe this Pokemon reflected like a mirror in the distant past. So you saying this guy's crusty as fuck? Uh, I'm trying to remember how to, to spell it because I have an idea for you. I'm gonna call you... Quasimodo, not Mobo, he's not going to become a motherboard. Quasimodo. Probably misspelled that, but hey. We're going to send you back to Notre Dame. Oh, you came to fight me, eh? End of see how Mount, see how Mount Coronet towers above us. I want to be big like that one day. What does that even mean? End of Pokemon Adventures, Chapter 23. Giovanni uses a cloister to freeze two Magmar, and then he shatters them. What a bastard. If you and the opposing Pokemon have the same move, you can't use that move against the opposing Pokemon. That's what Imprison is. Huh. Interesting. Seems kind of niche, but hey. Alright, that Geodude just fucking died. Bye-bye, I guess. This mountain pass is gonna be Zoro's feeding ground. This little Badu is going to kill this Onyx. Maybe. Or maybe, or maybe Zoro's overconfidence will get him sliced in half. Devour this rock's life force. Goodbye, Onyx. And already Zoro is catching up to charm. What does Worry Seed do? Let us see. A seed that causes worry is uh, planted on the foe. It prevents sleep by making its ability insomnia. So basically, that's just 
a super niche move where if you're running into an enemy that has like some kind of self-sleep thing going on. I don't think I care for Worry Seed. Stun Spore is more good. Mega Drain, well, let's see. Mega Drain is 40 attack. The use of the HP is restored by half the damage, whereas Absorb is the same but weaker, but at the same time, mm, I don't know. Because Worry Seed seems very, what's the word? Situational. Let me read that again. A seed that causes worry is planted on the foe. It prevents sleep by making its ability insomnia. On the foe. So yeah, I don't really care about you. That seems like super strategy. You loom before me as a giant presence. You are an odd man. Do, do. Another medite. Metadite. Now I'm imagining a Meta Knight from Pokemon as this Pokemon. A Meta Knight from Pokemon. What is my... What is my brain right now? Meta Knight from Kirby. What's wrong with me? Hmm. Yeah, let's get away. You're just gonna be boring. Mount Coronet. I don't think there's much we can do, actually, in Mount Coronet, as far as I'm aware. Like, maybe we could go by to the other side, to Celestic Town. Maybe. But I was told Celestic Town is late game, so... <laughs> to be honest, he looks like one. Eh. Go rock smash! You're up, Pete. Look at these beautiful wings! Amp is gonna be eating good tonight. Completely wrong voice. Well, let's throw a stun spore at him. Well, damn it, it's gonna double team all day, every day. So you're one of these bastards, aren't you? How dare you exist in my world? What do you mean, miss twice in a row? This should be illegal. Get stunned, idiot. Fine, since you're gonna do that, I'm not gonna play nice either. I was gonna be nice. I was gonna, was like, oh, I'll fight you on even footing. Then you're like, I'm gonna go with the bullshit strategy. Now you get, and of course you get a critical hit, you bastard. Die in one hit. Die 1,000 pecks. I was gonna be nice. I was gonna fight you hand to hand. And an unlovable hand. But then you had to go and be mean. So now you're gonna die a slow death. I'm gonna paralyze you and then I'm gonna throw you into the water below. God himself won't be able to save you. And we'll just have Amp destroy you too. Oh yeah, Foresight's now useful. I keep forgetting that that's what it also does. But instead, I already sent Amp out, and Amp can just annihilate him. Wake up, Amp. This, this bitch is, deserves to be fried. What? Alright, interesting. It causes an uproar, and wakes me up. Is that, is that like a powerful combo? Somewhere in the universe. I'm gonna put you to sleep, and then I'll wake you up, and then I'll put you to sleep, and then I'll wake you up. Oh, you, I'm gonna pick you for that. Why? Why, though? And now I have taunt. So if there's somebody who's being mean, and I have a, 
The problem is, like, all of these are super situational to my mind. Well, I might as well take a look at what the inside's like. I can at least get an A item, but I require strength. So there's not much else I can do. Well, I guess I can throw Charm out, since all you do is, like, a move that doesn't affect Charm, if I recall. And now it'll be like, surprise. How dare you growl at Charm? What has she ever done to you? Well, now she'll kill you. That's what she'll do. And you're just going to keep growling, aren't you? So this will take five billion years. You bitch. At least you can't do any damage. Welcome to your new hell. You've just made it so that your your pain lasts forever. And oh, you can actually use it confusion. And you get a critical hit too, because you're a bitch. How dare you. Why does it feel like the enemies in this game have a ramped up, like, crit chance? Meanwhile, my crits only come when they're already dead. Like, watch, this is the type of situation where I'd get a crit. Will it be a crit? Will I have three times in a row where I call it, where it's literally at the end of its life? Nope. Good. Because that's just very mean game. We'll grab this Pokeball because we can. And I got Ice Heal! Sure. And now we will leave. Mount Coronet is a mystery for another day. Another dine and dashing. Eh, we won't deal with you, we're just gonna move on. See if we can maybe ride our bike down below. And then I guess head to Hartholm and potentially find a Routes. Hopefully by then, the Bubba da Bubba will have hatched, so I can know if I care about you or not. Chat did say it's a Togepi, and I think that makes sense, because if I recall, doesn't Cynthia have, like, a Toga Kiss on her team? So I guess that could be it, so, hmm. Well, I guess if by the time we get our routes, it hasn't hatched, I'll just throw it in the the PC system. Hello there. Neon, long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. I'm Professor Rowan's assistant and Lucas's father. I've come a long way to help you on your adventure at the professor's behest. Neon, let me ask you, how many Pokemon have you met? Oh my, you've met 49? Wonderful! Yes, bravo! Professor Ron should be delighted. Here's something for you. <gasps> yeah! Experience share! At long last! You actually get this really early. Well, where the fuck you go? Is it in actual items? I guess it makes sense. It's not really a key item. Now I don't need to do swap training anymore! Swap training is dead. Much like chivalry. Learn how to shift gears and you'll be able to ride anywhere. What if I shift gears on your brain? Yo, cycling and Pokemon, which do you prefer? Pokemon, this is a means to an end. I'm gonna throw you off this bridge, if you're a bitch. Aw, oh, Pikachu, how adorable. Oh god, that's a lot of it. That's, a, that's death. Hmm. Yeah, because it's probably going to do a lot of damage. So... Amp, you're the only one that we can choose. Everyone else is weak to this bastard, or just underleveled. You utter whore. Why you do this? Why do you all get critical hits, you slut? Like, I do not get critical hits this much. Why do you get critical hits this much? 
you little slut. Because Zoro is too weak. Zoro is a much lower level than this guy. So just, uh, I would rather not risk it for the biscuit. You are a massive bitch. At least your evasions didn't help you too much, you evading little hoe. Hey, not bad, you! I'm gonna toss you over this place with your Pikachu in tow. Ever heard of AR? The NPCs have one. I do not know AR. At least I don't think so. Well, since you paralyzed my goddamn Luxio, I gotta go back. But we'll go and just fight through Cycling Road, just because we can. Well, action replay! Oh, so basically the NPCs have their own, like, special modifiers going on. They have their own buffs and nerfs against the player. It's less action replay and more like just special modifiers. And then action replay is how the player would, in turn, put on their own modifiers. Fight me. I'll destroy you. Cycling feels great. It'll feel even better when I beat you in a battle. Ah, you ain't gonna beat me. I'm gonna beat you. And I'll throw you off this bridge. I'll see if Lancelot can handle you. If not, Amp can always take over. Bubble Beam! Another fucking critical hit! Fuck off! I hate that! That just should not be a thing! I do not get as many as you! And now I do, but still, it is bullshit. I still do not get as many as you do, so it is illegal. Find a million Pokey Dollars. Like, I don't mind the occasional critical hit, but it is always happening with these people. It is illegal, I hate it. Ding ding, watch out you, or did you want a battle? God will not save your kneecaps for what I'm about to do to you. I keep swapping out the Pokemon that would be most useful against the other Pokemon. Get sparked, idiot. And, like, I wouldn't be nearly as annoyed were it not for the fact that the majority of my critical hits have been when they aren't useful. All of the enemy's critical hits are when I'm, like, full health. It is just agony. Despite all the effort, I'm just spinning my wheels. Impressive, considering I broke your kneecaps. The both of us are on bikes, and we both have Pokemon. I can't let you get the better of me. You do not need the egg in the front ha front thing to hatch it. I do not believe you. You just need it in your party and then you need to walk around. That would be the weirdest thing. Like that would be like Pokemon Generation 1 type shenanigans, but even then Pokemon Generation 1 wasn't that shenanigany. Hey, Charm, you want to try kill these people? They're about your level. It's about time you started killing people your own level. Get smacked, bird. Oh, Pokemon Flame Body speeds it up. That's nice. Get Foresight, idiot. 
I can track you. I am a god. No avoiding this bunny's sight. Ah, Zoro leveled up. Good, good. Hmm. We'll have charm out there still. Oh, level 19. You know what? Never mind. I'm gonna let Amp kill you. Hey, Amp, kill this motherfucker. I want this Starly's penis exploded. Don't you dare do it again. Then again, you won't be able to do it again because you're gonna die. Totalo. Oh, jeez, I seem to have fallen off my bike. Well, get out of here. You need to be on your bike for bike cycling road bamboozle. It is illegal to not do that. Be gone. I forget. What item did I give you? Oh, yeah, the suit bell. And now I will give you the XP share. And now we're going to head back and heal up again. Why is it all downhill? I mean, I guess biking uphill is good exercise. And we are kind of in a mountainous area, so maybe, but still. Bing, 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 bong. Heal my Pokemon. The cyclists are a bunch of bitches. They're all very mean to me and my Pokemon. If I was smart, I would have reset my step counter when I got the egg, so it'd be like, ooh, how long did it take this egg to hatch? I wonder why my character randomly stops biking in, like, that biking office. Hmm. Hey, can, I, can I use you as a stopping point? I want to move my team around a little bit. Fight me. I should have challenged- Oh, no, wait, I already beat you. Haha. Uh -huh. The bike you've got there. It's the type that can change gears. You gotta love it. Sure, I'll give you a battle. When he loves your bike so much, he wants to kill you for it. Go, Lancelot. Kill this bird. Bubble beam. Get bubbles in your eyes so you crash and you die. And you're sending out Staravia. Lancelot will take your Staravia. And then in a battle as well. Bubble beam! Get stabbed by bubbles, idiot. The power of stab is here in your eyes. Oh, hey, a critical hit that actually was useful. Finally. And that's actually two crits that are good for me twice in a row, I think. In terms of me getting the crits. Crash Tinkle. I think he died and pissed himself. I come from behind. A bike will carry you a long way. The only thing that limits you is your own endurance. Well, you're not going to have endurance after I'm done drowning you. Of course you do. Um, I guess pound. We'll see how long you can go if we need to swap you out or not. I am faster than you, little lion, and now you will die. Wait a minute. Why, why is your shinx not evolved? Why is your Shinx not evolved? Mine went into a, a Luxio before this level. Of course, you get to fucking one, you bitch. Please die. Don't be crit. 
every single time it's that singular diddly do, my brain immediately goes, "Oh, it's gonna turn out to be a, a crit at the end, isn't it? Just to spite me." I guess I'll put charm in front just in case. Fight me! Some people compete over speed, and some compete over technique. Which kind are you? Uh, murder. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna make it. Damn it, you would've been perfect. Every single time! See, this is why we need Melodic, so that we can destroy fire types for eternity. How would that even work? Like, it has a flaming tail. A tail whip with that would, like, commit burn. How dare you step on the stomp on the floor of the bird? Die every single fucking time. Please, die. That's not what I meant. I thought I was selecting Quick Attack. I am an idiot because Quick Attack was in that slot on another character. I am a fool. But he missed anyway. All is good in the world. An arson whip. Exactly. And you're gonna send out a Shinx. Ah, uh, yeah. I guess I'll send out Charm and then... Zoro, if Charm can't finish it out. Please be a low level, like 18. Aha! All is good. Die. How dare you sexily leer at my, my little bunny. She'll kill you now. Devour your bones. Luckily, I can quick attack you to death. You're gonna have to somehow increase Feebas' beauty to max if you want a melodic. Yep. I'll need to actually learn how to do that. You're a speedy tactician. Not really, I just fought you to death. It's very basic. But I know that there are ways to do it. Somewhere in here. Bobba da ball. And, and that's even if we can get it at a speedy manner. Because if I remember correctly when I was looking it up, Feebas is only found in four tiles in a single room in Mount Coronet. <laughs> yep, competitions. And plus, even if this is one of those games, they're like, we're not competitions. I don't know. I don't think I've done competitions before. Doing one might actually be interesting. Because yeah, I don't think I did any competitions in uh, Emerald, if they even existed. Fight me. Bitch. If you beat me, you can count on something rotten coming your way. That's a threat. I'm gonna kill you now. Heart Home has competition. Oh boy. Oh, I took Pikachu with a heart tail. How adorable. I guess I'll try and fight you. And if things don't go good, Zoro can kill you. Unless you double team too much. Well, now I'm gonna have to foresight you. Get foresighted, bitch. Pokepuffs do not exist yet, I think. Or wait, do they? Were Pokepuffs like those things that you could make? Oh, no, they were Pokeblocks, I think, in Generation 3. Where you could mash up berries into things, I think? I forget. I didn't really use that feature of Generation 3. Come on, push through that paralysis and murder. Level up for charm. 
trash. The rottenness has come for you. Yeah, I am unaware overall about pokey puffs or pokey blocks and stuff. We're gonna we're gonna get this paralysis off my bunny. Do you think in like in an actual Pokemon world where battle is super normal, like it would be a customary rule of like street fights for somebody who inflicts status effects? on enemy Pokemon to then heal their the enemy Pokemon of the status effects after the battle. I think that would be... Or is this because, like, Pokemon sinners are so common, they're just like, oh, they don't need to do that. <laughs> In Gen 4, it's Puffins. Ah, interesting. We'll have to give Puffins to all the beautiful little Pokemon. Learn how to shift gears and you'll be able to ride anywhere. What's a bicycle without this? You've got to have a flag. It's a Pokemon accessory. What's the point of the flag for a bicycle if you don't put it on the bicycle? Are you a lunatic? Are you here to kill me? These berries will be mine. And I won't plant them again because I'm like never going to come back here. Oh, hey! Ooh, I'm interested to go up there. I'm gonna quickly check my map. Because I wanna. Who cares about versus recorder? What? I guess it's showing the way I've come so far? Let's see. Can we zoom in? Nope. But we can go underneath. Hmm. We'll check it out after we go this way a little bit. Maybe. A, a ton of more! My berries now. Oh, it's growing bigger. These cherry berries are now cherry mine. A bluckberry. That doesn't sound appetizing. Trainer tips. Pokemon become immobilized if they are asleep or paralyzed. I keep doing that. Hand off the trigger. If they are asleep or paralyzed, if it happens, your Pokemon, it could be disastrous. If your opponent's Pokemon can't be moved, it's a big opportunity. Yep, this is basically right back here. Then I guess we shall quickly adventure this way, because we can. But at the same time, routes. But at the same time, it's, we're right here. Uh, is there anything interesting here that wants to die? Just a Geodude, but I have Rock Smash. You're gonna die, you little idiot. <laughs> Go on to hell! That did not do much! What's the point of the Rock Smash if it doesn't really smash rocks all that much? Get smashed, idiot. I'm gonna smash you to death. Ever see a rabbit kill a rock? Well, I guess we can set Zoro in front to get some experience while Charm soaks up the experience in the back. Ooh, a Ponyta! A fire type might be useful. Speaking of that. <laughs> Like, I guess I'll catch you for, like, posterity if I need you. Not the arson whip again. You're being very mean. Or sultry, depending on things. We will catch you just so that we can. In case we need a fire type, you will be our uh, quick grind this back up. Oh, 
motherfucker. Do you not understand what I am doing for you? I'm saving your life from me. Get in the Pokeball. Good. Now, what shall we call you is the question. My brain says arson, but that seems a bit silly. As a newborn, it can barely stand. However, through galloping, its legs are made tougher and faster. It can barely stand, so by doing things harder than standing, it can learn. Hmm. I'm gonna call you Blitz. Come along, Blitz. You'll be our emergency fire type. And a burn heal. How handy. Let's see what other kinds of Pokemon are down here. Oh no, not a Machop. I don't even know what I'm going to do with you. Stun Spore! I know what, I'm not even gonna bother this. I'm just gonna send Nova out to kill you because fighting types can't hit birds. I'm not even gonna bother. You know, I just realized something. Technically, from like, how Pokemon battles should begin, you'd think that like the wild Pokemon would jump out and be like, Hi, ah, I'm a wild Pokemon, I'm here to fight you. And then you'd be able to select the Pokemon you want to throw out to fight them. But instead, I then again, it could just be a quick draw. Oh no, there is a Pokemon that I am uh, afraid of. Uh, go, my Pokemon, without uh, really telling who is there. It's like, oh no, movement and death approaches. You throw out the first Pokemon that's like on your hip holster of Pokeballs. That's probably what is implied to be happening. Why would you do that? He's a water type. You, you stupid son of a bitch. I get it, you're a baby out here in the wilds and alone. But die? You will die to bubbles and no one will mourn you. I mean, seriously, how do they even exist? There aren't any even ra any rabidashes out here. Well, that guy was a turn just to fight me. Fight me already. This is odd. I heard there were two caves on Route 206, but I can only find one entrance. That is odd. Weird, even. A super repel. If you think, you think if I, like, sprayed that on Team Galactic, that'll keep him away? Yeah, level 19. Well, at least I know where to come for grinding. At this point, I should just put Nova in front. Because one is under the bridge. Ah! Thank you for telling me that. I would never have learned. I would not have expected that. See, that is the kind of thing that I don't mind being told. Because I would not have thought about it. It seems like a... Like a side thing-ish. I don't know. We'll have to find that cave. We'll find the cave so that we can uh, make sure Barney the Dinosaur's corpse is never found. Fight me. Whoa, you startled me. Well, we may as well battle. Here amongst all the evils. Hiker Theodore. Your onyx will not survive, my little buddy. Kill him. Hey, you motherfucker. That's a little buddy that you're throwing rocks at. The findable one allows you to grab a lost girl. That's That sounds weird out of context. We'll have to find the findable one to get the context. 
Yeah, send out another Onyx. Zoro will eat it alive. Even if you are level 20, motherfucker, you're still gonna die. <laughs> Surprise adoption. But that's what I want with my Riyalu. That's what happened with this egg that Cynthia gave me. Welcome to Pokemon, the world of surprise adoptions. Your power startles me! I think you're just startled in general. Bum bum bum. A Gliger! Huh! I think I'll catch you for the giggles. I won't mind having a Gliger, maybe. Like, that's the one thing I kind of wish that Pokemon was a little better about, was, like, making it so getting Pokemon up to uh, the level of you... You bastard, that's my quick claw. Oh, great, now I have to go back for the decks. <laughs> but, like, blah, blah, blah. I wish that... Damn it. Oh, I, I don't even know what killed you. I just wanted you in my team, and then you decided to be a motherfucker. All right, just not on this side. Makes sense, but still. Come here, Rostberry. You're mine now. I wanted that Gliger, but then the Gliger decided to say no. Well, I guess it's because I use Bubble Beam and I'm not used to typings. For some reason, my brain says that Gliger is part ground type, which is just evil. You know, a part of me uh, was about to say almost as evil as them making it so there's two cave entrances, but one is hidden. But at the same time, they did put a guy down there saying, I heard there are two entrances, but I can't find one. And since the entire screen is made up of the bridge most of the time, I guess we really should, I really should just know, like, oh, that's part of the mystery puzzle. That's the mystery puzzle in action. Good job, Charm. We'll let Charm keep having it for now. Poison Barb? Is that like hold? Enemies hit you, they get poisoned? An item, uh, it's a small poison barb that ups the power of poison type moves. Nope. Still pretty decent, I'd say. Oh, that's the cave. Fuck. <laughs> so this cave, too dark for you. Oh, that's kind of odd. Did only dark, but then you go down, there's light. That's a weird design decision, but sure. <gasps> it's a giggle! I don't even know your typings, but I do want to guard chump. But I don't know who I would sacrifice for you! Damn it, there's so many Pokemon that I want in my team. <laughs> Dragon and something. Oh, decisions, decisions. That is, decisions need to be made. 
because I do like Amp, so maybe we'll drop Nova. Maybe. Oh, uh, decisions. Stun Spore! What the fuck you mean it missed? At least it's a dragon type move, right? <laughs> Why that do so much fucking damage? Uh, okay. Oh, because Sand Tomb, I guess. That's kind of mean. You bastard. Stun Spore. Dragon Ground. Very interesting. And then I was freed from the sand tomb. Hmm, makes me interesting because like, ah. I'm not really interested in ground typings that much. But like, guard chomp though. Decisions, decisions. You know what? Premier Ball for the Gibble! I'm just trying to decide what I should name you. Darn you, that was a specialty Premier Ball Gibble! That's like gonna one shot you, isn't it? Well, one shot because you're already low on health. Fine, you reject the Premier Ball, have a normal Pokeball. I'm just trying to think. Who am I gonna replace? Oh, fuck off. How dare you, game? Just get in the ball. Get in the ball. Please. You went up three shakes on a Premier Ball. What do you mean, game? <laughs> Is Premier Ball actually, like, one-half Master Ball in this game or something? Why do you do this to me? Also, Dragon Rage is doing a lot of damage. I just want to catch this fucking Gibble game! Quit being a bitch! This is gonna crit, isn't it? <laughs> Literally, the m most damage we could do. Premier Ball, part two. Get in the fucking ball. Every pause hurts me. What? Game, fuck off. Genuinely, fuck off. There is no reason why he should not be caught right now. None, zilch, nada. Paralyzed, lowest health possible. Fuck you, game. Get in the goddamn ball. <laughs> Not to mention, he was like half health when I threw the first Premier Ball. And now you're like, oh, botch able DD. Nah, fuck you. Get in the goddamn ball, you asshole. Why is the game doing this shit? Come on. That's it. <laughs> game, will you fuck off and just be nice? Game, you're a, you're a cunt. That is stupid. Fuck off. Genuinely. I'm gonna head back and heal my Pokemon. That's fucking stupid. Literally, down to one health. Paralyzed. Game doesn't give me it. Fuck off. That's so stupid. I know there's the bike path. I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon first. That's so unbelievably fucking dumb. Oh, can't escape! Suck my dick. Fuck off. That's just so annoying. Like, again, 
I, I probably wouldn't be as annoyed were it not for the fact that the game already kind of went, oh, you're close to catching this guy, when it was frickin' half health and paralyzed and got to three shakes. I keep thinking that's Flea for some reason. Or maybe I'm just used to the game be like uh, going there when I enter battles. But yeah, it's just very annoying when the game acts like that. Oh, it's gonna hatch. That's quick. Come on out so we know if we want to put you in the PC for all of time. I feel like it's a little disappointing that it's a Togepi. I uh, don't know what kind of name I'd give you. But yeah, like I was saying, kind of disappointing that it's a Togepi because that's like the archetypal we give you egg have Pokemon kind of uh, Pokemon egg, but still. Hmm. We will call you Prince. We'll probably never use you, but you shall be called Prince. <laughs> Price, no. Well, eh, eh. at this point, I almost. <laughs> Fine, you are now Price. Join it. Well, we'll also have to come back because I just noticed there's a cuttable tree to the right for some reason. My call is that Pokemon who are asleep should be a 100% catch rate. I wouldn't go that far, but there should definitely be, like, at some point just a mercy call. Because it is unbelievably stupid that a normal Pokemon that is paralyzed and literally at the lowest health it can possibly be just no cells normal pokeballs it is just completely and utterly insipid design like maybe later on in the game when you can get like better pokeballs but like a premier ball if it shakes three times and is telling you like oodle you're almost there a normal pokeball with more damage applied should diddly dee dee. I hate. Come along, Larry. You're gonna be with us for a little bit longer. Until we get that Routes. And now a Gibble. Well, first things first, I guess we should go to the, the store. But yeah, that, that, that genuinely pisses me off. That the game did that. That's just so stupid. Then again, I, I kind of don't want to get any more. Like, at the by this point in the game, I can only get normal Pokeballs and then the gimmick balls. Why the fuck are they not enough to catch the goddamn Gibble, you asshole of a game? Whoever made that design decision, exile to the distortion world for five million years. Ah, PowerPoint up. Don't know what I'd use that on just yet. But it, it is genuinely something that is pissing, that has, will eternally piss me off. You just, you dare? You dare do this to me? I guess I'll throw Larry out in Psychic you. I have the Azure Flute. Huzzah. If I remember correctly, like, Diamond and Pearl's Azure Flute event isn't fully, like, done. But Platinum's is, but then they just decided, oh, we're not going to have the event. It's confusing, so instead we'll just hand out Arceus, which is still weird. It's a very weird decision. Because the event isn't that complex. It's like, you have the Azure Flute. You, like, walk up a place. You play the flute. Fight Arceus. But yeah, I'm just going to be eternally angry. Oh, so angry. At that thing, we're just gonna run because 
that Judo does not give much experience. Eh, uh, you do a critical... Well, not critical, but you do heavy damage to... My normal type charm. <laughs> Your kneecaps are going into Master Ball, Arceus. Get ready. Ain't that how it, <laughs> how it goes. But yeah, I'm still not over the gibble. The game just being an asshole about it. It just genuinely makes no sense. None whatsoever. Just the worst design to ever exist inside the universe. At that point, why even sell Pokeballs to the player at all? If you're gonna have Pokemon that do that, At this point, I shall put Zoro back in front. Because, goddammit, we need to paralyze the bitch. Because I want a Gibble. Gibble will be mine. It's just unbelievably... evil of the game to do this to me. A lower level Gibble, but maybe that just means he'll be easier to catch. But you're just vile and evil and stupid and bullshit. Now we'll throw Amp out to bite him a bit. And then just fucking pray. That he gets in the goddamn ball. Why does Dragon Rage do so much damage? Oh, double shit. That oh, that didn't cause recoil, did it? Uh, we'll see. This seems to be... Oh, it doesn't affect... Yeah, that's... Uh, for a moment, my brain was like, Oh, use this because it's, like, weaker against him. Nope, he's outright immune. Please, for the love of God, get in the Pokeball. Please. Just why? Why? Why, why, why? Oh, he's too strong! You're not making it fun, game. Do you want a heal ball? It's a stupid design, but maybe get in it, Gibble. Or are they just dead? Are the specialty ones just, like, glitched to always wiggle three times or something? What the fuck? Heal ball, I guess. At this point, I don't think the wiggles mean anything in this nightmare of a world. All I want is for you to go on a Pokeball Gibble. That is all that I desire. You stupid fuck. You wee bastard. Absorb, I guess. I don't know. The logic of the universe has fallen down. The Dust Bowl is... I've been saving the Dust Bowl just in case. Like, <laughs> I was throwing out the heal balls. Like, maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. And now we're going to whittle him down just a little bit more. And try the Dust Bowl, I guess. It's still stupid, unbelievably, that the game is like, oh, the normal Pokeballs do nothing. Like, that's insipid to me. And good, that didn't do too much damage to him. All right, Gibble, you little fuck. I swear to God, please, please, dear God.
Because funnily, near the end of the fight with the first Gibble, I was going to use the Dusk Ball. And then the game's like, ah, and then he cut. <laughs> and then they went and collateraled themselves. Its attacks using its huge mouth. While its attacks are powerful, it hurts itself out of clumsiness, too. I still think it's stupid that the Pokeballs are basically worthless already. But oh well, now we just need to think of a good name for the boy. What is a name for a dragon that is good? <laughs> no reaction. Purely because of anger at the game. <laughs> it's less of a... Like, oh, I feel nothing, and more like a, yeah, because if that didn't work, I would have been very upset. <laughs> that is the situation right now, but what kind of name should we get you? We are not... Hmm. Peter. That's what his name should be, P-I-T-A. I don't think so. I either do not get the reference or joke. Just trying to think. Hmm. For some reason, my brain is just, like, blanking on any kind of dragon names. Oh, pain in the rear. <laughs> but now we, we finally got him. So he deserves a normal, respectful name. Hmm. Well, we gave Price to Togepi when trying to call him Prince. Maybe we'll call you Prince. Drake feels too on the nose. I think I'll go with Prince. So he can be Prince of the Dragons. Who is also a royal pain in the ass. Now we can just move on with life. Finally got our Gibble. After much pain and suffering, and we will now never, ever buy a Pokeball ever again. Only the upgraded versions, because the game has proven pointless. The fact that there is, like, big ol' Cliff makes me worry. I forget. Does grass do good against you? No, it's not. I figured I'd give you the good old college try. Confuse Ray all you like. Lancelot's about to come out and kill you. And we will all cheer. Don't, don't know why you keep trying to use in prison. Die, Bronze Ore. I also keep forgetting that that's technically not a super effective move against you. You are literally metal. I feel like it's... You're just bending the boy. Why did you do that? I guess that's an attack on the senses, but still... He now bends the world in time. At least if there's any place for Amp to be knocked unconscious for an extended period of time inside of a cave, not the worst place for the electric type to be knocked out. Oh. I was turning you bitch to do the fucking puzzle. Yeah, I'm just gonna run from you, fuck up. Me no wanna deal with you no more. And we're just gonna have Lancelot in front. We'll give him a normal potion. The Bi Icon deserves to have his pain eased. I do wish that in this kind of thing, like, oh, we're gonna have the player undergo 
specific actions, maybe you shouldn't have obnoxious encounter rate. <laughs> Dang it. Just maybe. Oh, well, that's what repels are for! I thought that was what game design was for. Game design also exists, game. It is what you've been designed upon. I'd probably not mind as much were it not for the fact that you have bitched me, game. You have biffed me good, and now I loathe you. I probably don't even need to hold that. I'd probably need to use that fucking repel game, please. Your uh, first evolution won't give me that much. But fine, I'll use the goddamn repel. Even though I feel like I really shouldn't have to game. Oh, it's like, where is it? In the normal? Or... It's in one of these. Ah, I guess when we got a super repel. Ah, Super Pell is right next to the Suv Bell, and my brain just overlooked it. Now, let's pray to God work. Oh, I hate this already. I got a Max Ether, which is useless to me. Think out this puzzle. Is it even a puzzle? Repel does not last too much. <laughs> like, if you're gonna have something like this, there needs to be like a toggle. I do not want to run into Pokemon kind of things, because this is absurd. go. Interesting. Kind of teaching you how things work in a way. I don't think I care enough about that item. I especially don't care about that item if I have to deal with encounter rate that is insane and literally won't let me do the puzzle otherwise. You mean Bicon, indeed. The Bi Icon we all love. Yeah, and this is precisely why I don't want to actually go for all the items, because this is stupid game. Again, you should not have insane encounter rate inside a puzzle room. Oh, suck a dick. Genuinely. <laughs> I do not appreciate game. I do not appreciate this level of bullshit. Ah, but repels! Ah, but game design. Shut up, game. One step! I'm trying to do a puzzle! Game! God damn you. I hate this already. <laughs> I should be able to get more than one attempt in before an encounter game. It's a puzzle room that requires fine movement. Game! Let me get another attempt in before you do bullshit. Or at least have something like... B -b -b Digimon Cyber Sleuth, where I can lower encounter rate just normally through thing as a normal ability. Just let me play the game. You fuck. 
hate this. There we fucking go. <laughs> this bullshittery is getting out of hand. Exactly! Because this is basically Sky Tower, but with enemies, to a degree, with that stupid little edge. I am not going to be riding my bike while I am <laughs> walking on a razor's edge. And I missed two items in there. Two items. Because I don't want to deal with this puzzle without repels. And it wasn't like there was a hiker guy who was like, you should probably bring repels if you want to be able to actually do this. You water bastard. All that for Earthquake? There better be a door. You fucker. All that for a move I'm not even gonna do. Like, maybe I could give it to my Gibble. Maybe I could give it to my Gibble. But still. Kinda shenaniganery up in here. Kind of shenan again. Like, at the very least, make it so the encounter rate isn't as obscene as, like, normal bibbity bops, at the very least. Oh, because I need to get up there again, that's fine. But the simple ones, the simple ones I won't mind. I'll probably just grab this one item and then bounce. Because I do not want to deal. with the encounter rate. Also, why am I getting all the critical hits on these fodder enemies that do not matter? That's not what I want. I hate the encounter rate. I just want to do more than one attempt. I'm going to start using the speed up function of the emulator game if you don't stop game. It's even worse when you consider that I caught a gibble at full health. You bastard. How dare you live the life I wish I lived. Meanwhile, I had a gibble that was paralyzed. On literally pixel health. Ah, grip claw. Don't know what that is, but we shall... GTFO. And you caught it with one ball. How do you even do that? You know what? For the giggles, I'm going to throw a single Pokeball at you. Just to see how much the universe hates me. Good. Honestly, if I had caught you in one Pokeball, I would have been enraged. Just like you're raging. The encounter rate is too damn high here. Evils. The evils of the world. Hmm, I wonder. Hey, Larry, can you teleport us out of a cave? You cannot. Lame. I think Larry is being paid off by the escape rope industry. I don't even understand why there's light down there on a lower edge, but not up there. No, not the summary. Teleport back to the last place that we docked went. I wonder what that looks like for people on the outside. Restore my Pokemon. Utter pain and agony. Utter pain and abenigma. What's the. There's a name. There's like an ancient. Like Greek name. Aben. Nagmon? I don't know. A Pokemon hold item that extends the duration of multi turn effects like bind and wrap. And I guess like. Maybe the 
tomb. I'm sorry, Larry, but I want this game. I want to actually use it, you hole. Just because I hover over exit and hit down doesn't mean I want to leave. I was selecting down to go to the last Pokemon in a diddly day. Do you not know the land? Come on, Prince. Oh, you're already holding an item. And what is that item? Dear Prince. Ah, uh, Hadan Barry. I guess I'll give you the grip claw since you're the only one that has a multi turn move. Is chat dead? Nah, just probably a bunch of lurking going on. But now. We shall finish our exploration of this area. That Gibble sidetrack. And again, maybe we'll teach Prince like, uh, like that, uh, blah, blah, blah. The Earthquake. Because I think it would work well with him once he gets to, like, later on in his evolution. <laughs> that is not going to help you at all, little Machop is not going to help you at all. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Now we just need to go on through to the normal end of this section, maybe. Unless there is no normal end to this section at all. We should throw Prince to the front. And he can maybe... Wait, what am I doing? I have Peck. Peck can murder you. I'm a fool. I keep forgetting that I have Peck on Lancelot. I keep forgetting that he's a bird. Once Zoro evolves, I feel like he'll be a little bit more useful. Because really, the <laughs> Zoro is only really here for two reasons. One being, he's our only grass type, and he's the only one that has... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I saw rock and I decided, well, I'm going to use it. This is just against a random motherfucker. Oh, you don't even have Sand Tomb. It was the other motherfucker that had that. Well, I guess let's see what Dragon's Rage is like. His cool colors, at the very least. Sand and Sand and Dragon Rage. Come on and fight me. Hmm, I forget. Does Fighting Type do good against ground? I think Fighting Type does good against rock. Trying to think. Take down. How dare you leer at my little man. Who is another bad bastard for me to catch? Or will it be an utter easy thing for you to defeat? That's just how it goes in this world. When you try super hard and you only partly succeed. Oh, that's why, because the entirety of the... this section... is gonna be in the dark, isn't it? I have half of mind to just crack open a map of this dungeon and not even care about Flash. 
have half a mind. <laughs> At least Zoro will do decent here, for the most part. I'll be going. Good luck, Neon. Okie dokie. Hope you have a good night out there. As I try to navigate this place in the dark, like a fool. Maybe walking around will not trigger as many enemies. This is beginning to look feel like a maze. Maybe the secret is walking all the way. And we'll run into less enemies. Which is a little annoying, because I want to go fast. <laughs> but the, oddly enough, by going slow, I have less fights, so I do go faster. Is this the child kidnap cave because we're the ones doing the kidnapping, or is this, like, part of a quest? Then again, Pokemon don't really have quests. Okay, just want to make sure that that section didn't have anything in it. So, so far, it's not really a maze at all. I don't think there's much I can do to you, so I'm just gonna run. You're not really worth fighting. And now the game is just going, oh, you're gonna walk everywhere where we're gonna fight you anyway, which is a little annoying game. Let's see, is cut even slightly useful? Fine, if you have wing attack, it's probably gonna kill him. Meanwhile, Cut does nothing. It can't escape. Why? Why can't it escape? Because you a bitch? Because you're an asshole? At least it's not a super asshole and like, oh, you couldn't escape and we're gonna use wing attack. At least there's that. Get sparked, idiot. Also, you'd think that the cave that is, like, harder to find would be the cave that people would get lost in. At least once. If not right, everything is left. Up, left, up, left. Unless there's stairs I need to worry about. Either that or going down. I probably should have just grabbed a map. Oh, hey, an onyx. Ah, oh, damn it, you're probably gonna go first. Yeah, I'll give it a roll of the dice. Mega Drain! Of course you go first. Why wouldn't you? You're an asshole, game. Game is a fucking asshole right now. Should have let me gone first, but no, the game just has to be a bastard over everything. You're a rock type, you shouldn't be going first before anything. You're, you're like, an onyx tail is literally like an item used to make sure you don't go first. How dare you? Lancelot steals all the experience. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna go summon Spiritomb. May the summoning go good. Again, half a mind to just grab. Just a freaking map because I'm just done with this game's shenanigans. Oh, it's a normal thing. I hate this. This isn't fun. There's no challenge to this. It's just bullshit. I don't even... Oh. 
Why? Why are there trainers in here? Hush. Now, lost little Pokemon, don't you cry. I'm here to take care of you. I'm gonna gut you in this place, and no one will find your body. I'm going to assume that these are the real kidnappers all along. Just bash at that bunnery. Get it out as quickly as possible. That just means that this person is a terrible trainer. Their bunnery hates them. Well, at least we know what we're going to use against you. Just keep blasting them. And Bubble Beam to get rid of you. Be gone. How dare you growl. And we'll just Bubble Beam you and then Foresight you in case... Hopefully that works for the whole team. Ah, you summoned the spirit whom good job! May it serve you loyally for like 108 years, I guess. Another bubble beam and a quick attack. So the quick attack can doom you, your ally can come in, get hit by bubbles. And then slowed, maybe. Ah, sadness. I feel like you should have to, like, come out first. Oh, but it's a water type. So I guess I'll peck you. <laughs> you la! It's first words to me. Such majestic words. Super effective, but hardly did anything. Good for you. Now die. Yes, yes, yes. You have hidden power. Good for you. I guess we'll just do the same thing again, because it'll probably die this time. And then we'll have to worry about its next friend. Which is a Ponyta. It is going to fucking die. Bubble Beam. And just Quick Attack, I guess. How dare you tail whip. Again, I feel like that would, like, burn people. Unless it's kind of like the theory of, like, uh, Charizard, Charmeleon, and uh, Charmander's Fire Tail just being, like, a symbolic energy output of its, like, life force rather than actually fire. Who's crying now? You. You are the f you fucking bitch. You were just toying with me. I'm gonna murder you all. Bitch mode is activated. I have attained a map. Why would I do this, you say? Because... Fuck the, the <laughs> limited vision diddly d da d I doth say. If I'm going, if the game is gonna be mean and throw shenanigans at me in many different ways, then I am going to summon a map. If game wants me to take it seriously, then it will meet me halfway and make it so that when a Pokemon is paralyzed and on pixel health, we'll at least jiggle a normal Pokeball. <laughs> I 
you ran into a shiny? You, you lucky duck. I don't think I've ran into a single shiny in this game. Unless I just didn't notice. That's entirely possible. I am kind of unobservant from time to time. Like, poor Zoro, he's getting no experience because he got killed because the game's an asshole. We'll give you... XP share, so you can level up a little bit faster, dear charm. Alright, so we're up here. There's a... I think I could use the revive to bring back Zoro to get more experience for him. That feels almost like a waste, but at the same time... I'd like to at least give him a chance to level up, and I don't want to leave and go through this again. Mostly because I'd have to walk through the cave, back to the place. Yeah, you know what, screw it, I'm gonna do the revive. I'm gonna use the revive. I, I really shouldn't, but I am done with this game right now. Zoro, return to the land of the living. And not have to deal with bullshit. You'll kill all these onyxes. They're all, they're all a bunch of bitches. You'll kill them all, won't you? I'm just gonna max out all your health because the game's an asshole. And then we'll put Zoro in first. And you down here because we're gonna be fighting that uh, hiker Tusum up here. I'm walking. Why is the encounter rate so fucking high? It is already dark in here. Stop being an asshole game. We have breakable rock because we didn't go this way just yet. Because down here I think is literally just these two hikers. Hilariously, an encounter would have stopped me from getting to them if I didn't want to fight them. That is honestly kind of hilarious. Mega drain that idiot. I probably should have just ran because it's a Geodude, so you don't get lots of experience from it. Mob da ba. Well, go ahead, fight me. I don't think there's anything down there. Look, a trainer lost in Wayward Cave. Wandering around, I got hungry, so I ate some wild mushrooms. They gave me gas, and I can't stop burping. Burp. I am going to knock you out so these rock Pokemon can eat you. You kill that Geodude. You kill the Onyx. And you go first to murder him, too. Suffer, you bastard. Be eroded away by the power of bubbles. Like you deserve. And then we'll devour your, your freaking Geodude. You'll die in here alone without your Pokemon. Yeah, that's another thing. Why are there so many Pokemon trainers that are just like, Oh yeah, we're gonna be out here just fighting amongst the wild Pokemon. And then they faint. M Metal is good against rock? Why? You'd think that rock would dent metal a little bit. Or at least have it be neutral. I strayed from the battle plan! I think I'm getting better! Maybe if I crush your skull, you'll never burp again. Alright, now up to the left should be... 
at least up from the left of this place. Should be another double battle. <laughs> Everyone say hello to Spirit of the Shiny Spiritomb. Ah, you lucky duck. Especially because I think Spiritomb is a kind of hard to get Pokemon most of the time in these games. Again, the encounter rate for caves is just way too high. Please just let me go. <laughs> I don't want to deal with your bullshit. And down here will be another double battle. Yes, I am. Indeed, still looking at the map because no game. I do not respect you right now. <laughs> you're lost, aren't you? I'll guide you if you can beat me. You aren't going to do that, are you? you? You're lost, too. Where am I? Am I lost? Who are you? Are you a Pokemon trainer? Why are you going to fight me if you don't even know who I am? Well, Zoro, you get to kill that Psyduck. And then you can go kill that Apalm. Very rude of you to use Swift. How dare you? Mega Drain! Kill him! Kill him dead! How dare you not be dead? Of course you get a critical hit. Everyone gets critical hits but me when I need them. We'll focus down on the Psyduck, like we should have done from the beginning, and then we'll annihilate the Apalm. Prepare to die, little Psyduck. No more critical hits for you! Be gone unto hell! And you weren't even worth that much experience. Like, I partially know that that's due to the fact that it's a double battle. And we have the EXP share and everything, but still! Two fucking critical hits for you! You utter bastard. Uh, your attack missed. I am going to murder your family. Another critical hit! Why? Why do you get critical hits so much? I know that the answer was already given, and it's presumed that you bastards have bullshit. But still, utter shenanigans that you guys get heightened crit rate over everything. Now will you please die? You are just a bastard. Oh, hey, look. Is it also just a friggin' thing where the game decides you didn't really have to win? I'm not gonna guide you now. Well, you're a, you're a real bastard. But you're like, why? Oh, hey, a revive. To replace the revive I use because this game is a bitch sometimes. But yeah, just bleh, my brain. I forgot where I was going with that. But yeah, it's just like, all of my crits happen when the enemy is already guaranteed to die to the next hit anyway. And then the game throws on top, the enemies get ton of crits. It's so mean to me. I haven't played a Pokemon game if I don't find a shiny every five minutes. You are so lucky. Meanwhile, I find crits every five minutes to the face. Bye. We're just gonna run. We don't need you. We found an escape rope, so at least once we 
like, get the child at the end, we can just leave, hopefully. <laughs> I share your crit luck. But at least you have shiny luck, too. I have the luck where apparently the enemy get crits all the time. As well as the luck where I only get crits at the end of an enemy's health bar. And then no shinies. I get no pokey bitches. I'm looking at the map. Oh no, you must walk with the child. Oh boy. Alright, let's double check my team. You know what? We're gonna have Nova take over a bit. What every good picnic needs is a cute setting, good food, and a fun battle. This is a danger zone, evil place. You call this a place for picnicking? Are you lost too? No, it doesn't matter. Let's have a quick Pokemon battle. Like seriously, is it against the law? To not want to? Kill the Buzel. You kill the Hoot Hoot. That's why so many double battles. Like, if you, like, dropped down from a ledge to find the child, and she's like, oh my goodness, I don't know how to get out of here, and there's a bunch of mean fucks in here too, would you mind helping me get out? Like, then I could understand the double battles, but, like, all of the double battles are, like, on the way to her, or away from her. Piggledy piggledy, none of this makes sense. Quit spitting on my bird. There is an empty path, too. Yeah, but at the same time, you're more likely to run into all of the double battles than not run into them, it looks like. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm not even gonna give you the chance, um, Nova. We're gonna swap you out over. Uh, hey, Prince, come in here and fuck shit up, why don't you? Yeah, because again, if this is meant to be like, oh, you're going to guide somebody through this place. I would feel like it would be like I said, you drop down a ledge. There's a girl's like, I dropped down this ledge and now it's dark and there's a bunch of trainers. Could you help guide me out of here? Rather than, why does your bite do a ton of damage when mine never did to this asshole? Either way, be gone, you fuck. You don't even give much experience because it's a four-way split, but still. That wasn't any fun for me. You don't deserve fun. Lost? There's nothing lost about this kid. And I'm in immediately. And then I'm in elite. Yeah, plus, like, if you already know the way out, wait. Huh, I guess I, I thought that was gonna be a Smash Rock. So it's kind of interesting where it's like, oh! We're, all the double battles are, like, on the way, like, uh, the wrong ways. Game, lower the encounter rate, you asshole. <laughs> There are way too many when I just want to walk to the objective. It's like the game notice, like, oh, you're gonna start walking everywhere, huh? How dare you? Yeah, because in actuality, all of the double battles are at dead ends. So it's, it's kind of silly, too. 
Why are there just like groups of these two people all over this place waiting for trainers to come by to beat them up? Did they all conspire to kidnap this kid, this little girl? And like, we're gonna punish this little girl's existence. Why? What did the little girl do to you? I guess I'll put you... I don't know. I guess I'll put you in. Oh. <laughs> you kidnapped the little girl instead. I guess, uh, yeah, we'll fight you guys, I guess. This is a dead end. You look like you might have just the Pokemon I've been looking for. In deep tunnels and caves, there are a couple of things you're sure to see, Zubat and Ruin Maniacs! Ah, uh, you're gonna be a ground-type Ruin person, aren't you? Congratulations, Amp. You are not gonna be helpful here. At least they're gonna lower their attack a little bit. I guess we'll blast at the gibble as quickly as possible, and then swap in Lancelots for bubbling. Please one-shot this gibble for fun. Ah, oh, damn you. At least it was a critical hit, so... Something. Is there even a sandstorm in a cave? Alright, you annihilate that Geodude, you annihilate the Gibble. Bye bye, Gibble. And now destroy that, that, that rock man. Mega Man will never exist, he'll never. He'll never move out of Japan. The sandstorm rages on. And then Bronzor. Guess I'll stun for you and. I don't even know what I'd use against you. I think Bubble Beam at least wasn't not. Like, like it's not not good. It's just normal. Get stunned, idiot. Why would you go for the little Badoo? What'd he ever do to you? Ah, he's weak to you. a lot. You swap them in just because we can. Cause why not? At the very least, once this is all over, we'll have no one to really worry about. Because everyone will be dead. forever since we got a quick claw activation. Why are you doing it to the penguin? Do you want him to die? Schmiggity schmack this motherfucker. All of them live with one HP when that's only happened a few times to me. At least I didn't get a crit on him at that point. You didn't have a single Pokemon I wanted. You're no collector. Your awesome power. It's mystifying. No, wait, no. I mixed up the Maniac and the Collector. 
Yep, and nothing. Skip ahead to the point where I don't care. <laughs> Not even a hidden item. For the power of speeding up time, I want you gone. And it's all Bronzor. I've already caught one of you. Go away. Miggity schmeck. Also, this girl had to have gotten here and basically be locked in by the rocks somehow. How did these rocks spawn on her while she was still here? Hello, lost child. Hi, Mir. I was catching Pokemon and then I got lost. I'm so scared. Please take me to the exit. I'll keep your Pokemon healthy all the time. At least you're useful. Again, you should have just been existed from the start. I'll give this, like, double battle thing a shot. You said you'd keep my Pokemon healthy and then you didn't. You lied to me, Mira. I was the one that was going to kill that one, Mira. I was the one that was going to kill him because I'm actually useful against him. Super speed through this a bit. See if I don't have to <laughs> do all that much. I don't want to swap out Zoro. Partially that for level ups. And now everyone is healed and probably has their power points restored. At least there's that. <laughs> that is a boon. It is all bronze Zoro all the time and I hate it. <laughs> Fine, I'll put somebody in that can actually do shit. It's bothersome to me. <laughs> At least Lancelot can bubble beam the bastards. Then, oh wait, I missed my turn. Battles are destroying my brain. Oh, hey. Finally, a place where <laughs> the poor boy could have actually done things. Okay, I'm just going to speed up through these so that we can at least get out of here faster. But not speed up the walking, because then that would probably just take us longer to get out of here. With all the corrections I'd have to make. Another left. Then it should be up. I want to go fast. Get blasted, idiot. Well, that's just rude. Why does he even know explosion? Why would you give a normal Geodude explosion? Fine then. Die if you're so intent on exploding. And Charm. Ah, wants to learn high jump kick. Of course we'll give you that move. Really, um, hmm. Defense curl, because we're not really using it that much, but foresight could come in handy. And now, you are prepared for fighting. Let's see, I do believe it is just left up, left up. After this, go to the haunted house in Eternal Forest. Oh yeah, we can go there. I forgot that we can go there. I completely forgot about that building. 
I, I was reminded of it a little bit after we got cut. Like, immediately after we got cut. Do I care about Bide? What is Bide? The user endures attacks for two turns and then strikes back to cause double the damage taken. Lancelot isn't really a tanky boy. And in a lot of fights, like, three turns of damage probably is just better. I'm sorry, but I don't really care for Bind. But yeah, back to my thoughts. Completely forgot that that house even existed. Because I only remembered it when we got caught. I'm like, oh yeah, there was that building around Turn of Forest and stuff. And, uh... So I knew that it existed. But then after we started the stream and everything, I completely forgot. Really, I should probably... Uh, yeah. Let's take the XP share. And I guess... We'll give him the XP share so that he can level up a bit more. He definitely needs it. Alright, now we should move down. Then right down right. Just constantly. Dabra, you can actually do damage against these guys. Against the Bronzors. Quit taking the ones that I can kill in one hit. Well, granted, I guess you can also kill them in one hit, but still. One of the rooms has a scary image. Oh boy, the room to the side. I'll definitely look for that creepy image then. Well, at least we're gonna, like, one-shot these guys, and so won't have to worry about being exploded. Are they just trying to explode us? Just waste our time and be like, haha, you didn't get experience? Is that it? Yeah, just downright, downright all the time. Maybe if I target the bronze ore? <laughs> nope. Would have been nice, though. And now you're confused. Ah, at least I got a critical hit for once. Huzzah! Finally! Oh, there's the exit. I want to get tougher so I won't be such a scaredy cat. Neon, bye-bye, thank you! I didn't even tell you my name. What are you, like... One of the... Admins of... Higgledy Piggledy... From the future past? And now Nova and Amp are the ones in need of more leveling up. But I will be happy to be done with this place. This section of the world underneath the, the Viking area. I long to be free of the bikes. Hello, Ponita. We shall obliterate you because we can. How dare you try to cook the Nova. Nova only burns when she wants to. Once again, a critical hit that really wasn't all that useful to me. Good job, Prince. You leveled up. I once got a shiny ponyta. The save was cleared. Oh, hey, yo. Let's see if we can, uh... Like, uh, catch you. I, again, doubt I'll ever use you. But, hey. I don't know why, but he seems a lot bluer than Gliger is used to. 
Could just be the color palette of this game. Hello, hello. I suffered through the Cave of Darkness. Oh, great. Now it's trying to sand attack me to death. How dare you? What did I ever do to deserve this fate? One more quick attack, and then we'll be able to hopefully catch you. Hopefully. Unless you're gonna be like Gibble and be like, No, I don't want to be caught by you. Get in the Pokeball, please. I don't even think I have any, like, status effects to hit you with. Damn you. Doesn't even have anything to be knocked off. Please get in the Pokeball. All right, fine, I'll kill you if that's what you want. If that is what you truly desire. If you survive one more quick attack. Fine, I'll just go through the rigmarole. I, of course I get a critical hit there. After all the misses. At least now we can finally heal. Granted, we technically got healed by the little girl. And then we just need to remember where the Eterna Forest is. Because I think it's just like, yeah, it should be just like back to Jubilee. Up. I believe. Please restore my Pokemon. I am in nothing but pain. <laughs> Gotta charge up the crit. The crit is only there to hurt me. Now let's see. The fastest way would probably be going up through the bike path, then to the left, is what I believe. That should be the fastest way. To get straight up the cycle path. And we'll check out that building in a turn of forest. That apparently nobody else that has gone to this place's gym has ever gone to before. Oh, wait, we don't need to go that way. We can go this way. Oh, hello. Hiya! Were you intrigued by the rumors going around too? You know, people have been talking about the ghost Pokemon of the old chateau. I've been hearing rumors about sinister shadows too. I should check it out myself, but going in there is... Well, you know, I've been that I'm a gym leader, I'm always busy, so... Since I'm so busy, I can't go in. It's not because I'm scared. So, good luck with your investigation. Whatever you say. Oh yeah, isn't, like, Rotom in this game? I forget. Well, if we're gonna be fighting ghosts, I guess I'll put normal in. Then I can foresight and punch them. Of course, it's purple lighting. That's how you know it's ghosts. Hello, Bunary. I've already caught a Bunary. I do not need you. If that one had to be like, no, you stay and fight, I would have murdered it without a second thought. Ah, after you get the Nat Dex Rotom spawns. Slightly disappointing. Unless there's like post game. Oh, wait, no, because it's. Because <laughs> the Nat Dex. We already caught a Ghastly. For funsies, let's use Foresight and smash it. To see how what it's like. It's 
Not very effective, but luckily, because of type different, well, not because of level differential. Meaning you all, <laughs> the only way to catch this Pokemon is by our catching all other Pokemon. Seems a little silly. It appears as if it's glaring. How dare you? I found old Gato. What is old Gato? Old Chateau's hidden specialty. It heals all the status problems of a single mo Pokemon. Like, if it was a held item, why would you ever, like, use it? The wonky music. Sure is wonky. There's just books. Chuck full of Pokemon books and photo collections. Chuck full of Pokemon books and photo collections. Trash can is empty. An old notebook that has something scrawled in it. Something so peculiar should make off with the mo- hmm, the rest is a page of blank. They definitely have a creepy vibe with the music and stuff. I'm gonna foresight you and then quick attack you. Because my Bunnery is God here. My Bunnery can see through you, Ghost Man. With the power of foresight, she could solo all of Lavender Town's tower. <laughs> Heal seat, exactly. Once again, it's like, ah, the old chateau. Its specialty is nothing but a seed in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon universe. Seriously, this feels like Resident Evil in here. Ooh, a rare candy. That thing I'm gonna hoard forever and never use. Oh, you put a plaque up there, but you won't let me read it? How dare you. Like, the vibes of this place are very creepy. So definitely well done there. Makes me wonder how they do, like, a Pokemon horror game. I found a big pearl. I can sell this. Yeah, whatever happened here for people to just, like, leave it to rot? Also, like, why would nobody come in here and make up with the old gateau up till now? I guess <laughs> could be just Pokemon world logic. People like, oh no, the ghosts never went there. One small child and their normal type Pokemon that can punch ghosts. I fear nothing. Then again, this is the Pokemon world, so there's probably a difference between ghosts and then ghost type. Yep, we're going to the top room. I want to check the bottom room first. What'll be in here? Well, start all the way on the left. If the ghosts will let me. Come on, Mr. Ghost, let me in. Let's get Scooby-Doo up in here. A dread plate. There's text engraved in the back of the obtained plate. When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. That's actually kind of creepy. It's chuckle. <laughs> Why would the dread plate be here? Just in a random room. The TV has an oddly malevolent feel. Uh, it's as if it's staring. Everything is staring in this game. 
Ah, I thought this would be like another, like, readable. Like that one in the other room, but oh well. Kind of weird to have a bedroom here. Oh yeah, hello creepy picture frame looking at me. Don't think I didn't see you. Purple of growing, growing, of glowing red eyes, staring. Indeed, staring do. But then you get all the way up there like, ah, you gah, weirdo. I wonder how much fun they had making this place. Like, well, let's creep out the player a little bit. And substitute. Definitely creepy vibes in here. And an interesting experience. Although I find, find, find it kind of funny. It's been so long, I forget what, like, the plates play the role of in this game. I don't think I saw the ghost girl. And I was keeping an eye open. Maybe she's a random event? I am uncertain. Because I looked in every room. Ah, plates for Arceus. Ah, yes, the event Arceus. Which is kind of disappointing, but oh well. With all that out of the way, we shall now run down the bike path. See if we can catch a route. Of which, no idea who I'd replace on the current team with Ralts. Hmm. Okay, because let me quickly check my map for where we go. Yeah, to the right. And let me set up my team properly. Come on, Prince and Amp, let's level you guys up. Especially for this double battle. Go for it, my Pokemon. I'll do my best, too. Your Pokemon are gonna be eaten alive. <laughs> Go do it, my Pokemon. I'll work hard, too. Did you set up this ambush? Why don't you fight each other? Ah, Chimchar and Apachirisu. I think Prince annihilates you both. If only I had, like, Earthquake, but, oh, like, trained on him. Oh, well. I guess, uh, nuke the Pachirisu, and, uh, you'll get the Chimchar. Leave Prince alone! He is yet to murder you. Get paralyzed, Chimchar. The purple flame comes for the squirrel. And then we shall bite the Chimchar. How dare you charm. You bastard. I should have used Spark. The stabs would be very powerful. Well, congratulations, if we weren't going to do anything else. <laughs> Take down the Chimchar. It's like hunt down the free man. Oh, we lost. <laughs> they said the exact same thing. Like they said at the exact same time. 
He turned right back around. He's like, what, what the fuck was that? Well, you see, it was murder. I was half expecting there to be like a... A villain. And since you're a hiker, we shall murder you. I just got through Mount Cornet, but I've still got energy to burn. I don't think I believe you. Mount Cornet is deep and dark. No way you made it through with just a Geodude and whatever else you have. Zoro, kill. Nose pass. We've yet to see one of you. Will this kill or will he live? Oh no, he lived. Pardon all you want, more mega drains are coming your way. We'll drain you of your soul, little man with a nose. using Harden. It won't save you. <laughs> it won't save you at all, little man. You're just gonna die. And a level up for the prince. Good job. Ah, you finally want to learn Sand Tomb. Well, let's look and see what Sand Tomb even is all that much. A 70, per, a 70 accuracy, 15 power move, and it traps the foe inside a harshly raging sandstorm for two to five turns. I actually don't think that's all that good, because sandstorm is just a thing you can do. Sure, it also seems to, like, stop you from swapping your Pokemon out, but, like, nobody's going to do that in this game. I don't think I'm going to learn sandstorm, yeah. Not really all that useful to me. We have to go into the goddamn caves. I guess we'll go heal from these two fights. First. Just because we can. As well as because... And Zoro and everybody can be ready. gonna open my thing to like do stuff hey neon how's your pokedex coming along me i am always doing great work i wish but that's not important lately i've been experimenting with a couple of neat tools yeah, and i'll share uh, one with you choose a hand hmm uh, i guess right oh yeah you want the versa seeker yep neon you know what? it's important i don't even, uh, i can only assume they're both the versa seeker Using the Versus Seeker, you can find trainers who want to battle with you again. Yeah, what about a Poketch? Do you have one? Yeah, you do. You can have this too, then. You deserve it for all your effort. Dowsing Machine. Locates unseeable items. Uh, it is... Uh, just try touching it. It'll alert you if there's anything uh, unseeable item on the ground. Try it now. I think there's something here. Okay, keep working on your Pokedex. Professor Rowan's counting on us. All right, look for a dowsing machine. Ah, oh, we found a great ball. Interesting. Slightly finicky, but at the same time kind of cool. What a save. Saving a lot of data. And we shall go into Mount Cornet. On our way. 
to Hartholm, I believe. And because of all the stuff, mainly that the stupid caves, we won't be getting to that third just yet. The third gem. Bum 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 bum. I shall just run away from you. You are not worth fighting. You're, you're mostly a bother. Oh, a revive. Handy. I can just poke at that from time to time and just get all the items. And I'll become rich and powerful. No one will be able to stop me. Nothing. Oh, hello, Cyrus. According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where the Sinnoh region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded, there should have been no strife. But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife has spread. The world is being ruined by I find this state of affairs to be deplorable. Okay, weirdo. I guess I'll go down the rock smash path. Just cuz. Eh, just a Zubat. You're not worth that much experience. Well, this is just, like, the way out. I'm kind of interested what's up here. Oh, this is also the way out. Come here. <laughs> Double interesting. Just a short jump. Well, I guess I'll catch you just because I can. I, for some reason, I didn't expect to see a Clefairy. Stun Spore! Get blasted. You are. You are going to die. I'm going to send you back to the moon. I wonder if the first Pokemon in space was a Clefairy. Defense curl all you want. It won't save you. Get Mega Drained, idiot. <laughs> Cyrus acts like Dusk Noir. Not really. Dusk Noir was more personable and, like, gallant. Cyrus is more just, like, cryptic and, like, I am appearing here and now I'm appearing here. I am saying things. And, like, you kind of know that he's already, like, a part of uh, Team Galactic from the go. You better not waste my Pokeballs too much. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. It is said that hap happiness will build. come to those who seek a gathering of Clefairy dancing under a full moon. We shall be original and call you Luna. The most original name for a Clefairy ever named. Really, I'm kind of annoyed that it doesn't cover the full screen. But really, I'm probably going to forget to use that, so... Back to my... Huh, he just stays asleep. That's kind of annoying. Do I have anything to wake him up? Do I have an awakening? I do have one awakening. I guess I'll use it. Well, we can't wake him up outside of battle. If I beat you, you will share some food with me. I will throw you off this cliff. 
You'll be captured by that fisherman. No one will find your body after that fisherman finds you. Because he'll eat you. Zoro, devour this onyx hole. Ah, a critical hit. I either get a critical hit when it's going to one-shot or a critical hit at the very end of their life. There is no in-between. We were starved for food, and now we're starved for a win. And for food, because we're not going to give it to you now. You're going to die. Huh, fighter man. Hmm. Hey, Nova, I do believe it's time for you to shine. Hey, fighter man, want to die? This karate man's going to pulverize you. I am going to chop off your head. You only have one Pokemon. Nova, kill him. You know, okay, the game is just like, get instant kill critical hits now. Sure. We got pulverized. You are a disservice to Ryu. Oh, we found a great ball. Will the Pokemon's move scale it? We need rock climb. Hopefully once we're out of here, we can finally return to letting Amp level up some. <laughs> You're just a little kid. How are you supposed to be a beat a big man like me? What are you, a rapist? You're a weird little man, and we're gonna kill your weird little man. Mega Drain. Are you just gonna do that harden all the time? Mr. Baldy Nose Hair, prepare to die. Ah, critical hit that I did get a lot of value out of. Very nice. Oh my, a big man like me got schooled by a little kid like you. These are way too long sentences for lines that only exist for a second. I have to speed read them every single time. Ah, an ether. I'm never gonna use these, I don't think. They're like desperation items. Ah, normal lady. I wonder if charm can kill this normal lady. Lots of spinning people. We'll have to see what route this is. It's just a, a Zubat, so it's not going to give us lots of experience. Now this lady, however. Fight me. Oh, you want to have a battle? I was mean to enter a contest, but beating you won't take long. The visit to the doctor's office will take much longer. How do I evolve my Padoo? I just realized I don't really know. Not very effective, still did a lot of damage. Maybe I should look up how Badoo evolves. I don't think I know. This will be a bug Pokemon. Don't know what's good against bug Pokemon, actually. But Amp could use some experience. He hasn't been fighting anything all time. Send out your combi. Your combi will die. We'll eat their honey. Spark! Your combi won't even evolve into a Vespa Queen. 
my vicious mockery killed her. Oh, you've beaten us. That I have, and I will again. What route is this? Oh no, it's just trainer tips. I don't care. Why is there a fucking pickle? Just sitting there. I guess we'll get to see you. Watch if the pickle. Hello, pickle. It's a pin up berries. Weird. Mm, 208. Let's fight this man first. Well, ah, let's fight this man first. Of which, once again, Nova. Prepare to kill this man. Don't say a word, just take it. Okay. I thought we were gonna kill this man. Instead, I guess we're gonna get more time with Amp. Fight me, gentlemen. You and I, let us create a scene, a fantastic tableau of battle. No one will find your body. Oh, how adorable. It's a mime, Junior. We're gonna commit infanticide here. You know, I completely forgot that Mime Jr. Of, like, came about in this game. At least I think he did. He didn't exist in Gen 3, did he? It just feels right to assume that he, like, came to be in this world. A Bonsley, eh? Uh... Bonsley is rock grass. I guess Charm will kick him to death. Because I don't know how that, like, dual typing would affect things. Get kicked, idiot. Oh, great. Now we're kicking each other. I kick high. You kick low. And the paralysis did nothing. Magnificent, I am aglow with inspiration. That's how you live life. Get your ass kicked and still keep going. Berry Master's House. Free berries available. I'm here to rob you for your berries. It's a book titled Much Ado About Mulch, a berry owner's guide. Alright, so just... Most faster growth in berries. However, it also causes the soil to dry faster as well. More frequent watering is recommended. Damp mulch. However, it also slows the growth of berries. So that kind of feels like... Blah. Stable mulch extends the time berries remain in their plants. Some growers use it in hard-to-reach locations that may be overlooked for harvesting. Gooey mulch. Increases the growth cycle of berries. This means the number of times new plants grow from where mature plants have withered is increased. Everyone seems to call me the Berry Master. I hand out berries daily because I want people to learn how wonderful they are. You're deserving of one. I got a spear belly berry. Yay. But now I do believe. Hello, Clefairy. If you say Heart Home City, I only say this. Pokemon contests. I'm going to enter my darling Pokemon in them. Heart Home City is a great place. Every year it gets voted the most desirable place to live in Sinnoh. What about Twin Leaf Village? Oh, wait a minute. If that's Heart Home City, and this is 208, I do believe that ba ba ba. Just quickly triple check. Yep, Route 208. Routes can be here. I'd prefer Celestic. Could we have gone to Celestic? I don't think we could have. Just 
Celestic is one place, because I think we tried, but we needed strength. Ah, but you're talking about, like, uh, places you'd like to live. I, if I remember correctly, Celestic Town is pretty dope. And I do believe routes should be able to spawn, but it's probably a rare spawn. I'll have to throw out Zoro to be able to... Paralyze the routes once we find it. Come along, routes. We have a uh, come along, Zoro. We have routes hunting to do, I think. Going to be very fast. Try and catch a routes before the end of stream. Because it said 208. This is 208. Unless there's secrets abound. A Beveril? Just a full-grown Beveril out here in the wild. Interesting. Oh, I can't escape. Will you fuck off game and let me leave? Of course you get a critical hit. Why wouldn't you? What do you mean can't escape game? Why is this a mechanic? Fine, I'll kill you then. Mega Drain. Oh yeah, because Rollout's going to do like 5 billion damage. You're annoying. Me and Celestic chilling with Cynthia's grandma. I don't even know what to throw out. You're just an annoying little fuck. Like, ugh, can't escape. Why? Why not? Tell me why not. Isn't it is its ability? Like, why? Just be gone, please. I don't care about you. And then it's just using rollout, and it's a takey little fuck. This is stupid. I hate this. They're probably gonna die because the fucking rollout is stupid, and the game's like, don't leave. Leave bad. And that's gonna KO Lancelot because this game is stupid with the, oh, you can't run. And I forgot and mm, hate this. This is very stupid. You should not be barred from running from wild fights, ever. Not unless there's a damn good reason, game. I'm just here to try and catch a route. And you're being a bastarding bitch who's like, eh. We're not gonna let you run away. Unless it's like one of those Pokemon that only shows up when you use the tree. Maybe. Maybe? But I don't think it would be. It's one of those weird things where, like, could it be because of catching method? Speed step, but I still don't feel like that's justification for not letting me run away. I just don't think so. Not sure how else you're supposed to do it. Ah, it's a route, yes. Stun spore. I just realized I only have, like, one Great Ball. Oh, because you have, like, yeah, the Synchronize. If it is faster than your Pokemon, you can't run. I... Fucker. Bastarding, bitch. Why does it no Teleport Toe? Why do all the psychic types people want to catch feel like that? Hmm. In that case, it might be better to have Amp up front to Spark. Hope we get a Paralyze. Yes, yes, yes. Let me get to my, my menu game.
Downside to using Amp does add the extra bit of Intimidate lowering each combat. Also gotta say, bit mean to give rare Pokemon the teleport ability. How dare. Another Ralts. Let's try this. And hope it doesn't kill. Damn it, it killed. Oh well. We're just trying to feel out the best way to catch one of these things. Because I need to try and find, like... Because I was hoping maybe I could get it, like, super low on health to make catching it easier. And hope that it would try a move, like a double team. Oh, hey, Rosalia. I mean, I guess I'm here. My Badoo has refused to evolve. Guess we're gonna have to run in and heal anyway in Hard Home. This game is being mean. Especially with the, like, ah, we're gonna waste your turn moves. And who knows, maybe they'll have, like, decent Pokeballs there. There we go. What shall we call you? The more healthy the Rosalia, the more pleasant its flowers aroma. It since deeply relaxes people. Figured I'd catch you just cause. But what shall we call you? Hmm. I know. I think. My brain is overthinking the word. It's like, how do you spell it? How many L's and where's the E? Because brain is dumb. Brain overthinks things. Come into the world, Scarlet. We're gonna go heal because meanness. And as well, check and see if we can buy Great Balls. That'd be... Oh, hey, a Bunary. Oh, thank goodness that you happened to be there. If it weren't for you, who knows how far away my Bunary could have run. Baby Bunary, back into the Pokeball you go. I'm Kira. I'm a Pokemon contest judge. Be sure to drop by the contest hall so I can thank you properly. I just want to get to the, uh, the Pokemon Center. And the shop. desire nothing but Pokemon store and Pokemon Center and then we'll talk to everybody and their babies. Let's see. Nope, just Pokeballs. I guess I'll buy 10 to get a Premier Ball because I have a lot of money anyway. And a few super potions, just because I can. You know, I just realized that if I had taken, like, Sand Tomb, I could have probably stopped the bastard from running. Heal my Pokemon, please. I'm going to go back and try to catch a freaking Ralts before it runs away. I wonder if anybody just went, I'm going to make a team of all Gardevoir. Just catch routes the moment that you can. And off we go, my heal team. Because really, the only way I think I can really, really do it... Oh. Is like uh, use the spark. 
hope I get a Paralyze. And deal damage. Hello, Bibro. Nobody cares about you. Rosalia, we've already caught one of you. Another Bibro. Big on, Satan. <laughs> I want a psychic baby. Just want a Ralts. It's a good line of Pokemon. Yeah, Ralts. No teleporting away. And nobody cares about you, Bibro. Well, let's see. Do you die in one hit? You take a lot of damage. Uh, decent enough experience, I guess. Like, maybe if I take the... XP share, we go a little better. Name the routes Violet. Maybe. I'll have to think of a good name. And level up for Amp. As we search for the hidden routes. <laughs> a critical hit for you, too. So basically, the Bibril are my training dummies as I search for our routes. I wonder what, like, the record of the longest somebody's just ran around in grass trying to get into a a fight only to not get into a fight like the longest time somebody's done that for because it's really the most statistically unlikely thing in the entire game all right i beg of you let me get a spark off do double team and then let me be able to throw a pokeball game? Okay, so that won't work either. Damn it. Why are you so fucking weak? So literally all I can do is try and stun Sporum, which doesn't even have 100% accuracy. Profound sadness. Okay, try and stun spore, attack mist, use the lucky chant. And you're actually fighting back a bit. So it might give me opportunity to take some of your health. Hmm, maybe one more. Come on, just one more. It's down low. Go Great Ball. Huzzah! Routes is mine. If its horns capture the warm feelings of people or Pokemon, its body warms up slightly. Give a nickname to the routes you caught? Yes. What name shall we give you? Val Violet doesn't work for you, but Indigo does. Come along, Indigo. And then I guess that'll be it. Although I should, like, Quickly, just interested. I want to look up Badu then. See what its evolution condition is, because it seems to be a little. Ah, high friendship during the day! That's why. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, it has two different ones Roselia when leveled up with high friendship during the day, or. 
this, this wiki words it weird. It evolves into Rosalia when leveled up with high friendship during the day, and then comma, which evolves in, oh no, that's it. It worded it a little weird. Rosalia, but then Rosalia evolves into Roserade when exposed to a shiny stone. It just worded it a little bit weird there for a moment. So basically, I need to, like, at the very beginning of my stream, try to level up Bud <laughs> Zoro. Gotcha. I actually, I could, that's an idea. I could try to use the uh, rare candy to just kickstart it immediately. But huzzah. We have a Routes on the team, but I don't know who we'd replace it with. Maybe Prince, because his loadout isn't really all that good. He seems to be like a... Because <laughs> I do want Garchomp. <laughs> but that also means I'd have to put in a lot of effort to raising Prince. <laughs> At least there, it's a good problem to have, where you have more Pokemon you want to use than spaces on your team. It's a good problem to have. But we are in Heart Home. Next time, we'll look for gyms, just walk around the place, maybe partake in a contest. We will see, we will see. But yes, we'll venture around and do things next time. This time, we mostly cleared out things to do, like, uh, beat up the Galactic team in Eterna City and moved them along. Crossed the bridge, cleared out underneath the bridge, saved a lost child, caught a routes, and got here to Heart Home. I do find it funny that Cyrus just keeps appearing everywhere we do, and he just doesn't even do anything. He just kind of monologues a little bit and then walks away. He's a silly little guy. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Aside from the annoyance of capturing a gibble, of which I, I noticed the irony of me going through all the pain and misery of catching the gibble, of, be of being a little bastard that he was, only to then be like, hmm, should I trade him out for my routes? <laughs> there is a bit of silly aha going on here. But... Either way, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have a link tree, linktr.ee slash neoniceswings, or a direct link to it in all the descriptions, bios, and link places of the various sites. And inside that link tree is links to all the places on the internet that I do things, like my edited content YouTube channel, my gaming streaming YouTube channel, that I upload all these streams to, my Twitch channel that I also stream to, dual streams. And then all the different art sites or just like social medias that I post art to. So if you want to see art like my little character in the corner and all the other arts that I do. Ah, yes. And see you next Wednesday because, yes, I am trying to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Next time, we will continue with more Pokemon Platinum. I almost said Mystery Dungeon. It's just eating away at my mind. The Pokemon Mystery Dungeon brain rot is real. But yes, in my link tree, links to my all the stuff, including my art that I need to draw more of. But Brain has been mean about that front. I need to, I, on that front. I still need to make the Cresselia meme image. I think that would be fun. And other things in my link tree are links to my writing, which I do enjoy, as well as my Patreon, which is basically just a tip jar for those who feel kind in the moment and want to throw a dollary do my way. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching everybody. <laughs> Any sponsors yet? I am way too small to attract sponsors. And even then, they'd be like, hey, can you immortalize our advertisement in your YouTube video slash stream while we give you like a candy bar and five dollars? Like... They would probably try to lowball me a lot because, like, oh, you don't have that many subscribers or monthly viewers or average stream viewers through live. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe someday, as we keep on trucking, I might be able to get a few hundred dollars to thousands of dollars through the 
the diddly dee sponsor people who want to sell out my soul. And then I'd have to worry about like, hmm. <laughs> is this sponsor evil? Like that, uh, that one kind of scam-ish one that was going around for a long time. I think it was like something titles. Like, oh, you get to own land in like Ireland or something, which it actually wasn't. And this whole thing was like, oh, you pay this. A tree is planted on this plot of land. It's called your land when legally it isn't. You can put like sir or madam on your like passport or something. And everybody just like, it was everywhere. They were giving money to all these internet people. Then in the comments, it's always like, oh, these title people are s kind of scummy. And then they just vanished. And I've heard nothing about them ever since. And then there are ones like BetterHelp where you hear scuffed things about. And then there are the ones that people are annoyed by, but seem relatively harmless, but apparently, <laughs> like, uh, she, uh, what is it? Raid Shadow Legends. Like, I would take a million of them just because they're harmless. Sure, their advertisements are annoying, but hey, they pay, I guess. <laughs> There's a reason so many people took their sponsorships. But rambles aside, once again, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope to see you dudes next time. Just remember to be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind. <laughs> hmm, do I want to be sponsored by Genshin or Raid Shadow of Legends? Either way, I guess there are some lesser of evils in terms of sponsorships. But yes, good night, everybody.